Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully update our routes, right? So that is for the user and now I copy everything and that will be for our admin. And for the admin, I have created another common middleware as an admin. I didn't create this middleware, so I will create it. First of all, I want to do and to load our admin locking, add in our admin controller. Now I want to create another method as an admin form. I copy it. Now go to our admin locking and that is our create mm, that is our main guard okay after this guard here i want to create another new function that will be public function and a method name will be as a locking form so into the locking form what exactly you have to do i simply want to access the same logging page so that is our default logging page i have already discussed about that things with you you will get it into the view into the auth and that is our default page right that is a locking page now i want to do i want to load this page so if you want to load it in our locking form area here i want to simply return all the view page that will be the return view right return view our file folder name as a view and that is a auth and then that is a logging so i want to simply access it that will be as a auth there is a auth folder into this auth folder i want to access that locking okay and here also i want to do and to pass our guard i want to access that guard that i have already created so that will be the guard and our guard name i want to pass it as a admin okay so that will be as a admin guard i hope friend it's very much clear to you and for the another e store that is another method i have already declared as e store method and in our admin controller if you go into the admin controller that is our e-store method so into the e-store method you can see there is a logging response so i have already created one of the logging response that is in our http responses folder and logging response so into the logging response when everything will be done it will be returned redirect to the admin dashboard right it will be automatically redirect to the admin dashboard and in our web into the web i have already added that as slash admin dashboard it will be written on the view page as a dashboard page okay friend i hope step by step everything is very much clear to you so right now um, i pass that guard as an admin here i'm using the same page right our auth and locking page so that is our locking page now into the logging page area that is on the form here now we have to make it as a dynamic because that will be uh, accessible for the both of this place that will be accessible for the default user that will be also accessible for the admin user for the reasons i want to do i want to put on the condition okay here i want to better i cut it and I paste it because that will be needed. I want to do I want to put on the condition is set. Okay, with this is set, is set with this is set. I want to pass our guard. Okay, I have already passed that guard so that I take variable as a guard. So that will be our guard. So into the guard, if there have any guard, okay, then then i want to do i want to access that our url our url will be which one our url will be our guard name that if this as a admin so that will be our guard right so i make it as a guard um, ard guard so guard and then concatenation i want to pass it i want to pass it in slash locking okay that means then that will be as a admin slash locking okay if they have different guard that will be get that our a guard name and then that will be as a slash locking and else okay after that i want to use that as else else it should be the, our default one or default one as a route as a locking so now else it should be our default one okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so is said if they have any guard then our url will be our guard name that means if they have any dynamic name as an admin so now that will be as an admin slash logging will be executed and else it will be executed our route default one as a logging and then csrf token will be needed rest of this will be just like that same okay here we successfully updated that part great now we need to create our here we don't need to do anything i close it and also if you go to our web i have already named that one of the middleware right as an admin middleware so now i want to do I want to create this middleware so if you want to create it you can create it by the command line rather than i want to create it directly so that will be as a redirect authenticate right so that will be the redirect authenticate for the default one now better i want to rename it i copy it i copy it and now if you go to our middleware into the middleware i want to create another new file and i just click as a save as and name it as a admin redirect okay admin admin then redirect authenticated.php 
So this type of one of the middleware I want to create. I simply click as a save. Now that should be added. Okay, you can see that is added. Perfect. So now from our redirect authenticate, okay, that is our that will be just like that same. There is a redirect authenticate. I want to copy everything. Okay, I copy everything from our redirect authenticate and now in our admin redirect authenticate here I paste it. Okay, so now only we have to change that our name. Now our name is as admin, right? Admin redirect authenticated which is totally fine and that is our guard now our guard should be updated into the guard that will be the return redirect as a route service provider as a home route service provider home means if you go to our route service provider you can see home will be as a slash dashboard right so that is our slash board dashboard as a route service provider and that is in our providers area and you can see there is a route service provider that that is our default one now I want to change it here right now in our admin redirect authenticated here that will be not this I want to do I want to pass it our guard so that will be as a guard okay so that is our actually guard I want to access that guard and guard and I continuation with our which one that will be as a admin slash dashboard right so I make it as a dash board so that means when everything will be success then that will be returned redirect to the guard our guard will be right now i created that guard name as an admin so that will be the admin slash dashboard it will be return redirect if admin is successfully logging when i run it everything will be more clear to you so here it will be return redirect to particular that page great i updated this part which is totally fine now we have to um, added our middleware so that is a middleware and i have already uh, created that middleware when you create any middleware we have to do we have to register it we have to register it into the kernel okay into the kernel.php and that is our route protector you can see now i want to do i want to allocate that part and that is better i copy it okay copy it and then i paste it so now i name it as a admin because I have already used it as an admin so that is in our app HTTP middleware and our com middleware name I name it as an admin redirect authenticated right so then that will be as an admin redirect authenticated class when you create any middleware make that sure you here you have to do you have to access it right now we are able to access our admin which I have already used it in our middleware that will be as an admin I have loaded our group middleware as an admin great so now friend let's check this out if everything okay it should be work if we get any error we'll solve it now click as a save all i hope every concept is very much clear to you now if you go to our page i want to first of all go to our home page click as a enter mm, we successfully get one of the error as a syntax error unexpected unexpected identifier route right we get it in the middleware that means in our web.php there have some of the issues so you can see i didn't use that as a semicolon so there should be one of the semicolon now click as a save all now i want to refresh it again yeah it's successfully done so now first of all i want to check that our logging page yeah our logging page is successfully loaded and also now if you want to access our admin logging click as a enter now it's getting one of the error as it cannot use app locking response as locking response because the name is already in use so that is in our admin logging admin controller here i have created one of the new one as a add logging use you can see by default that is also another one so here also you have to do, have to remove it right now if you go to our admin controller so that is practically things is should be you can see there is the same things now i mean, i am actually using that app http response uh, that i have already created right now we don't need that our default one i simply remove that our default one now let's check this out click as a save all now if you go i refresh it now there is another error as a middleware auth session guard guard does not exist so they have the another issue so don't worry we'll better have to continue this process in our next video we'll solve these issues so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video